Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a fun project that I will be using. The Scrub Diva Design June release and this is the Slimline card right here as well as the Star Nesting Set and the Fringed Star Bundle. I've already gone ahead and cut a couple of things here. I'm gonna make this card using these majority and then I'm going to show you guys how I created some other cards. And of course, with it being stars and during the month of June, July, and August, it's very summery, I decided to use this opportunity to do some 4th of July themed items. I thought it was really cute. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I do have a couple of other cards already made that I used other dies, and I will show those dies with the card that I used, that I created. So I've already gone ahead and done this cutting the star nesting set which is this one I really like it it comes with not only the star set but it's also an outline I don't know if you could tell there's like a little outline which cuts out these pieces right here so this is what it looks like and it, it's like a two-for-one die so it's super cute you can do use um, like a shaker and then add this on the top and it would look really cute but let's get started. I've already gone ahead and like I said, I wanna show you how easy and simple a card like this is. And I've also added my favorite stamp company and I've cut out a couple of things that I want to use on this card. And yeah, let's get started and follow along. Let's go. So I've already gone ahead and cut these stars out from the fringe stars and I'm adding them to just making them monochromatic so why not white but I do want the red and blue stars to stand out so that is what I'm going to add over this and this is something that I I'm not really planning where I place these stars because I will be covering it with a couple things here and there so that's not a problem for me if you find it that's not your style make just plan it out how you'd like it what you want to show and as you can see I'm overlapping that little outline that comes from the fringe stars or the nestled stars sorry that's the nestled stars and it come it cuts out not a couple of different stars um, the this little ring the actual star is just a really great die to have because there's multiple ways and um, multiple star sizes that you get from this die set. So now that the card is already done, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the, a tiny little, I felt like, have you ever looked at a project and said, it needs some color here still, it needs a little something here. That's what that little point was right there. I added a little bit of blue. Now this is going to be the base of my card and it is a 12 by 12 and I'm, the way I make cards, for um, for mats and stuff. I don't like to waste paper, so I kind of do the middle fold and then I'll fold it over and make sure that the, the size is perfect to the mat. That way I don't fold an entire 12 by 12 paper. And yeah, it's not, it's an ick for me. So this is the way I do it. Now this, it just needs a little bit more for the July theming. So I've gone ahead and made some little rockets here and those little fireworks and rockets are all using Scrap Diva Design dies and I will go over that in a little bit. So adding another silver star and the word freedom. This is from a different alpha set that I have in my stash. This silvery star is perfect because it pops with all the red, white, and blue. I needed something to make sure that it popped up and silver was a perfect way to do that. Now I've already gone ahead and added the word freedom with foam and kind of a shadowy effect. So I cut those out in black and light blue glittery foam. So that's a great way to add the sentiment to a card is to use dye um, die cut letters and then just placing them where I wanted them to go and for me it's easier to kind of place 
the first letter and the last letter and then sandwich everything in between that way I know that they fit and the washi tape was just to hold them together so yeah now I want this little um, firework to kind of be wobbly so I'm adding this it's actually called a wobble I ordered these online but I know you can find them at uh, local craft stores and I'm adding the backing to it it has it looks like a little spring type and it's going to be able to make this little firework move around there we go I lifted it up and I wanted it a little bit closer to the bottom so I'm going to add this cute little mouse because he's going to ride the firework or you can make it a rocket whatever you want I went ahead and did some stamping with the the first portion of the sentiment and it's double matted and adding a pop-up foam on there as well so that's let's celebrate freedom and that's super cute I really love the way this turned out I also have a mousy here who's holding a firework adding some pop-up foam to that one that way there's balance to me there's there's balance there's something on each side of the card it's super cute I love that now now that there's movement and balance and I'm gonna decorate the inside later I need there to be something shiny and of course sequence for me is the way to go I'm adding some glue dots and then just placing the tiny little sequence all over the place in threes maybe fours but silver and blue and red is perfect and it gives a little pop of color isn't that cute and then I'm going to share with you guys a couple of other things that I have in store too okay here is my finished card I'm so excited how it turned out I really love it I think it's really cute like I said I used a couple of my favorite um, stamped images and I'm going with the mice from Lawn Fawn on this one but look at how fun and easy it is to incorporate the two dies together and once again I used the star slimline card to create this card right here and it was super easy you saw how I did the 12 by 12 folded it over and that's it I also went ahead and decorated the inside with extras of the stars that were left over of course I am super excited because like I said the outlines of these stars are from the nesting star set and these stitched ones are from the fringed star bundle now I know that there's going to be questions on how I created this little just look through your dies I've done it before where I've showed thinking outside of the die and um, I think I'll do another video on, on like kind of like a series on how to just use your imagination and put dies together and this one was using stuff from previous scrap diva designs you uh, dies just because I wanted them to be in the same scrap diva die family so here is what I used and this is kind of what they look like right here let me remove this real quick as you can see they're really simple shapes triangle rectangle and a um, a thinner rectangle let's go ahead and let me show you real quick how I did those this top right here is actually from the zigzag pinwheels so they come in different sizes there's the small one the medium one and then the um, the large one and that's how I did the triangle the body of this one actually it's so funny it's the cell phone shaker cover they're the speech bubbles right here you can see that's kind of what it is and it's really simple again you can use any triangle that I mean rectangle that you would like and last but not least the little where you ignite the firework are from the bows this is the let me see the name of it heart bows and I used these strips right here again look through your dies anything works everything works use though that imagination to go ahead and create your own however I also wanted to share real quick as you could see this one is more of a little um, a slight curve right here 
This is actually from the Candy Corn Memory Dicks Shaker. This is the one of those little pieces. You can look through your dies and just go through it. This right here, this is from the um, from an extra die on the like it strips like a box making one kind of like these and it's from a box making one it's just a simple rectangle you can go ahead and make your own I did a whole thing I did a bunch of them because I thought they were just so fun to create I have no idea where I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with them but I'm probably gonna make embellishments and um, make little 4th of July little packets for um, our get together that we do for 4th of July with some church friends. So that's that's how I created mine. I hope you guys, um, it was helpful to you and you guys can go ahead and make your own. So that's how I created this one. With that being said, here is the other card. Again, I use the Star Slimline card. This, and it comes with these little stars right here. That's what's the background of this. And I just added the blue, the silver, and then the red, and use the white to pop up. And of course, it would not be fun if the little mice weren't off on their golf cart with the firework. I thought that was super cute. Again, this star is also from the Fringed Star Bundle. I thought that was so cute. Like I said, it's the mice who are celebrating this year. Look at that. Now, I did create another card because it won't be 4th of July if we don't use the fringe in a balloon form. Yes, yes, I did. And the mice are floating. So you could see these are the tiny stars from this one right here. I just popped them up and I made 4th of July fringe balloons. And these little, the little tails to the stars are actually from the uh, treat cart and I know there's several other dies out there that have little strings just like the cell phone shaker you can use these little lines right here and I did cut these out to have the little the little knot for the balloons and I just glued it in the back you could see them right here and that's what I did I could have used those those strings for the ends, but I used thicker ones from the treat cart Scrap Diva. Look at that, that is super cute. You can see you can use your dies. That's, oh, and I can't forget this word right here. Celebrate 4th of July is from the party words from Scrap Diva. Lots of dies were used. I'm telling you, I went all in for this. Let's go over the fireworks are the cell phone shaker, the heart bow, the zigzag pinwheel, and the golf cart is the golf cart by Scrap Diva. All these cards are made using the slimline card, the nesting set, star nesting set, the fringe star bundle, and the word celebrate is from the party words. That is super cute. I'm so happy the way this turned out these three cards just they're gonna be for a couple of friends for fourth of july but i mean comment down below which one is your favorite one i'm in love with all the mice doing all the little things but i think it has to be this one because this little guy is like wait wait for me i think it's so cute and fun just to congratulate and celebrate our um fourth of july if you go to a hangout, you can give this to your host. It would be really cute. That's what I'm going to be doing with these. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Do not forget to check out the discount code Veronica so you can get your discount on your next purchase. And I'm so excited to see what turns out with all of these cards. I mean, all of these dies, what you would create with them. And until then, thanks for stopping by. Bye!